welcome to today's session. Today's session we are looking at the 20 most common neurotransmitters and we will be giving their role, the associated pathology, function, agonist, antagonist and any other relevant information that may be appropriate for this case. So we start with um, acetylcholine and acetylcholine is abbreviated as ACH. It's involved in muscle control, learning and memory. Find that uh, deficiency of acetylcholine normally leads to Alzheimer's disease. It's important to note that uh, acetylcholine is majorly excitatory, and uh, its agonist is um, <clears throat> is the nicotine. Okay, uh, whereas the antagonists, those ones that work against the activities of acetylcholine, include the, uh, the scopolamine and atropine. Acetylcholine is also involved in neuromuscular junction and autonomic pathways. Uh, so diseases like Mustenia gravis will be highly discussed and here acetylcholine will be highly involved. Number two is dopamine. Dopamine is involved in pleasure, reward and motor control. Deficiency of dopamine has been implicated in the, uh, the Parkinson's disease. Whereas dysregulation normally results in uh, schizophrenia. Uh, dopamine is majorly excitatory and um, its agonist is levodopa. Levodopa enhances the, uh, if the, the, the action of uh, dopamine. And uh, it is normally antagonized by haloperidol. Okay. And it's also associated with motivation, addiction, and mood uh, regulation. Number three is serotonin, and serotonin will be involved in functions such as the mood, sleep, appetite, cognition. Uh, low levels of serotonin are likely to result in uh, depression. We have also anxiety due to imbalance. Serotonin is majorly inhibitory, uh, and uh, agonists will include um, uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, e.g. the Prozac. We have antagonists like the, the, the trazodone. Um, serotonin normally regulates mood, appetite, and sleep. Norepinephrine is the fifth, the fourth one, and uh, it's in, important in maintaining alertness, arousal, and stress response. Uh, low levels of, of norepinephrine will result in, dep in uh, depression, while dysregulated uh, levels of norepinephrine uh, no, no will result in um, ADH, okay? Norepinephrine is majorly excitatory, and uh, the agonist is the phenylephridine, whereas the antagonist is the propanol, propanol. Norepinephrine is part of the fight and flight response, the sympathetic nerve stimulation. We have GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, and uh, its role is inhibition of brain activity. Um, uh, imbalance results in anxiety, whereas deficiency of GABA is, uh, will result in epilepsy. Uh, GABA is majorly inhibitory, and uh, it is normally enhanced by the use of the benzodiazepine and antagonized using the bucoculin. Uh, it is also primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter. It's in, in, implicated in uh, neurodegenerative diseases, okay, excitotoxicity. It's ma mainly excitatory and uh, its agonist is the NMDA receptor agonists. Um, the antagonists are ketamine and uh, memantine okay remember glutamate is involved in learning and memory uh, it's also a major ex excitatory neurotransmitter histamine is the next one and it's involved in regulation of wakefulness so uh, we have allergies and inflammation especially the inflammation results from dysregulation it's majorly excitatory hormone and uh, it's uh, actions are normally enhanced by histamine and uh, antagonized by the diphenhydramine. It's normally involved in allergic responses and gastric acid secretion.
endorphins they are involved in pain regulation and uh, also pleasure chronic pain conditions uh, will result from the imbalance of the endo en endorphins uh, it's majorly inhibitory uh, it's en uh, enhanced by endorphin analogs and the antagonist is the nalog naloxone okay remember endorphins normally act as natural painkillers and create feeling of well-being oxytocin is the home, the the next neurotransmitter that is normally involved in social bonding and trusting and uh, pathologies includes imbalance normally leads to autism spectrum disorders uh, it's both excite, excitatory and inhibitory so the agonist are the oxygen analogs and antagonist is the atosiban oxytocin normally influences social behavior and emotional bonding Adenosine is an inhibitory transmitter uh, whose imbalance results in epilepsy. Um, it's mainly inhibitory and we have adenosine analogs as the agonists and is antagonized by use of caffeine. Uh, adenosine regulates sleep and suppresses arousal. Glycine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Okay, it's hyperreclepsia. Deficiency will result into hyperreclepsia and it's majorly inhibitory. Okay, agonists are glycine analogs and uh, stretching as the antagonist. Glycine normally acts as an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the spinal cord. Echocabinoids are involved in modulation of neurotransmission. Associated uh, pathologies involve various dis dis neurological dis uh, disorders uh, that majorly result from imbalance. It's both inhibitory and excitatory. Agonists will include the cannabinoids, whereas the antagonists will be the CBI receptor antagonist. E e e the endocabinoids is they are involved in regulation of the mood, appetite, pain, uh, and, and pain perception. Nitric acid is involved in vasodilation and neurotransmission. Uh, degenerative disorders uh, will result from the imbalance of this uh, neurotransmitter. It's both inhibitory and excitatory, and it acts as a signaling molecule in the nervous system. Nitric acid is the next neurotransmitter which uh, acts in vasodilation and neurotransmission. Uh, its imbalance leads to neurodegenerative disorders. Okay, and it acts as a signaling molecule in the nervous system. Glucagon is a blood sugar regulation. Its imbalance leads to diabetes. Glucagon is majorly excitatory, and agonists are glucagon analogs, whereas the antagonists are the di diazolate. It normally regulates blood glucose and uh, blood sugar levels. Insulin uh, is important in glucose metabolism. Uh, its imbalance leads to diabetes and it's majorly inhibitory and insulin analogs are normally enhances. So they regulate glu glucose uptake and storage in cells. Substance P helps in pain perceptions and inflammation so that chronic pain conditions are going to result from the imbalance uh, substance P is majorly excitatory and uh, substance P analogs are its enhancers. Apipretant is the antagonist. They are involved in transmitting pain signals in the nervous system. Neuropeptide Y is helps in appetite regulation, stress response. Um, it's, uh, it also results in obesity, eating disorders in case of an imbalance. It's majorly inhibitory in API analogs and it normally regulates appetite, food intake, and stress response. We have the somatostatin, uh, which involves in inhibition of various physiological processes. Its excess will lead to neurologic neuroendocrine tumors. It's majorly inhibitory and enhanced by somatostatin analogs. We have the oketretide as the antagonist. It is unregulates growth hormone 
uh, secretion and inhibits other hormones. We have melatonin, which is uh, a very important in sleep-wake cycle regulation. Uh, it is imbalance, its imbalance results in sleep disorders. Uh, melatonin is majorly inhibitory. And melatonin regulates sleep-wake cycle and the circadian rhythms. Dopamine is involved in modulation, wood and, uh, mood and reward. Uh, its regulation results into addiction. Whereas depression will result from imbalance. It's majorly excitatory and uh, psychostimulants are the, uh, are the agonists, uh, for example, the cocaine. Antagonists are antipsychotic uh, drugs like clozapine. It's involved in addiction and reward pathways. Uh, uh, then we have, the, we have the epinephrine as our last one. And this one is important in stress response ar aerosol. Anxiety or panic disorders normally result from the excess, whereas this one is majorly excitatory. This one normally happy, uh, enhances the fight or flight response of the, of the sympathetic nervous stimulation. So those are the five, 20 major common neurotransmitters.